Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to today's vlog. Uh, I just woke up from a little nap. Brian got up early for work, and I was up with him, but after he left, I locked everything back up and decided to take a little nap. So I'm just getting myself up for the day. I'm going to get myself some fresh fruit for, for uh, breakfast this morning. And um, I think I'm going to throw a load of laundry in. I plan on washing the bed sheets today. I still got to hang out around the house, still take it easy. I don't go back to work till Monday, but I would like to get some laundry done today. And I plan on making something yummy for dinner tonight. So if you guys want to stick along and hang with me today, stay tuned. It's lunchtime already. I just heated up my leftover Bertucci's from last night. I didn't have to stress over what I was going to have for lunch. Uh, I got the bedding washed. It's in the dryer now. And uh, I just straightened up a little bit. Had my laptop charging because I need to do some studying for boards. But um, I'm going to finish up here with lunch and then I'm going to start. Uh, prepping for dinner, I'm gonna get the crock pot going and I'm gonna make some meatballs for dinner. I don't know why, I was just craving like traditional spaghetti and meatballs, so that's what I'm gonna make. Um, but I wanna tell you guys a story before my lunch gets cold. But uh, this morning when Brian was leaving for work, I always hold the door, if I'm staying home, which I am, I can't go back to work till Monday from surgery, so um, I was holding the front door open for him, saying goodbye. He was in the hallway and he's like, do you smell that? And I'm like, yeah, it kind of smells like someone has their stove on. And he's like, yeah, it smells like gas. It smells like someone left their range on overnight. He's like, I wonder if it's our neighbors. So I walked up and down the hallway and he was like, I don't, it's really strong. But then he sent me a text message when he got in the car and said it was stronger when you turned, when you turned around the corner of um, our complex. So uh, he called the emergency 24-hour maintenance line and uh, they went around and checked. I guess they have a gas leak detector or something. Um, we're all good. They found it here. One of the vacant apartments, the maintenance crew, whoever was in there working, left the gas turned on. Uh, so that could have been really bad, but um, it was really strong in the hallway. I'm glad they took care of that. Brian texted me from the car and he was like, well, make sure you get everything all together. Put some clothes on in case they do evacuate you guys. Because uh, that could have been a big mess. But thankfully everything's okay. They took care of it. Um, so Brian's at work for the rest of the day. Uh, I, I'm just going to make meatballs for dinner in the crock pot and then get um, some studying for boards. And uh, that's the rest of my day. So um, I will vlog my whole cooking experience so uh, hang tight guys and um, let me finish up my lunch. <laughs> some meatballs in the crock pot for dinner and um, I just figured I'd show you guys it's nothing spectacular um, don't even have a bunch of Italian seasonings or anything but um, I was gonna go along and show you how I make my meatballs if you guys got a better recipe or any tips you can let me know in the comments below let me get it one egg So I got a package of hamburger, extra lean. Hamburger in there. I 
also usually use um, like jarred pasta sauce, something that's already prepared. But today I'm going to um, try and make something semi homemade. Let's get this crock pot on. I am going to make the meatballs on the stove to get them a little brown before I add them into the crock pot. Okay, so I am going to add one egg to start with. It's a small package of hamburger. Shouldn't need more than that. And I'm going to use some Progresso breadcrumbs, Italian style. Sprinkle some of that in there. Okay, now if it was just me, I would not be adding Parmesan cheese, but Brian loves the craft Parmesan cheese, so I always add a little bit of that in there. I'd prefer the fresh, but you put in with what you got. Little bit of pepper. Little bit of garlic powder. And I am going to mix this up. there was an easier way. I used to hate when I had the acrylic fingernails and the meat would just get all stuck onto there. breadcrumbs comes in handy when you have someone else in the house with you and I don't today because now I have to rinse my hands off before I add any more Okay, we're good there. Now I can roll them and put them into the pan. Let me get the pan put on, get a, the oil a little warm. out of the way. Okay, pans on. Let's roll these into meatballs. I'm not even real big on hamburger meat. But, um, I don't know why, I've been craving spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. 
This is going to make a lot. And I can't even drive because I would go deliver some to my grandmother. Maybe I would make a care package up for my friend Robin. She's been helping me out so much with my surgery. She is stopping by later today. So, um, I can send her home with some meatballs. <laughs> Contadina. Who knows? I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. But this is the brand of sauce we're gonna use. Just have a jar of the sauce and a jar of the tomato paste I got with basil, garlic, and oregano. So we're gonna put this in the crock pot. And once the meatballs are Halfway cooked, a little golden brown, add it into here and we will just put it on low until it's time to eat. I'll make some kind of box of pasta, I could go for angel hair. And then um, I have garlic bread to put in. Okay guys, I think the meatballs are ready to be added into the crock pot.
keep it on low until about five o'clock. when it's just about dinner time. I'm gonna put a pot of pasta on some garlic bread around five o'clock and we will have dinner. So stay tuned guys.